so much for joining today. And if you're new here, welcome. Today I want to show some antique jewelry that I have collected recently. And this is just going to be show and tell. And I'm going to share with you what I know about these pieces. And if you know anything about these, please, um, please be free to share them in the comments so that I can learn and everybody else. Um, I'm no expert at antique jewelry, but I love to learn and I love to collect. So this is a place, you know, to learn for everybody to kind of collaborate with what they know. And I so appreciate those of you who have commented. So many people share their what they know, their knowledge, what they've gained. And it's just so helpful to me, to everyone else. And yeah, so uh, let's get into it. Um, I've got many other trays over here, but this is the first one we'll look at. And we'll start with two pieces I bought from another YouTuber who is a reseller. Her name is Rachel, and her channel goes by Lily Works. And she, she had these antique check glass pieces in her shop. And I bought these, oh, it's been a few weeks ago, right around Christmas. And I've just really been wanting to add to my collection. And I also wanted to support her. She's a good friend of mine as well. And um, yeah, I just wanted to get these nice pieces from her. And this one is like a gold gilt. Not sure what metal is under there but it has these gray Art Nouveau lines, all these swirling designs. And it has this beautiful amethyst glass, bezel set, and it does have a chip there. And she, after I bought it, she made sure that I knew it had a chip. And I was like, that's totally fine. Like. It's so hard to find these pieces that are 100 years old, you know, or more that are in perfect condition. And it just, it adds to it, to the character. Um, love to know the story behind that, how I got a chip. So I'll put that back. And this is the other piece I got from her. Another faceted check glass and I know a lot of, uh, several people have messaged saying, well, how do you know it's check glass? And I don't have that well of an educated guess or answer to give you, but if you see just clear kind of gemstone colored, faceted glass like that in an old setting is more than likely check. Um, I've just seen a lot, done a lot of research that you just kind of know it when you see it. And she actually sold this to me on a different chain. It was on a snail chain, which I felt like didn't really go with this pendant, it seemed a more modern chain to put with this, and the color didn't quite match. So I got this out of my um, stash. I keep vintage chains whenever I come across them, so that if I come across a pendant, I can just uh, marry the two together, and it'll be complete. So I absolutely love this piece. It's double-sided. It has this cute tassel fringe with like foxtail chain. It's got some verdigris which you you can get off 
um, soaking. You, you can put ketchup on that part so that, you know, you don't want to soak this whole piece because these are probably foil back and you don't want to get water or anything on them. So I really love this piece. <clears throat> and these are going in my my personal collection. And then this one I bought on eBay recently and it was advertised as an arts and crafts uh, piece which I I want to agree um, it has this beautiful filigree chain which I haven't tested it but I believe it's sterling well I'll show you in a minute but the pendant is marked nine three five but it has just beautiful chain that was the main thing that i loved about it and then it has these blue rocks which i believe are lapis and then they said these were rock crystals but i think they're actually just glass I do not think they're quartz which is rock crystal. And then this pendant they said is Jasper. And then it has these genuine marcasites. I believe it's missing one there. I believe it's missing a few there. So it was not in perfect shape. And then it's marked 935. Oh, this is where it was marked. I think it says STS, but it lays beautifully. It's a great length. Um, I love it. It's a really nice piece. And then this I bought with a lot of other, it was like amber type necklace or jewelry. And I, from the pictures, I thought this was Bakelite, and that was why I bought the lot. But when I got these, I used the Simichrome um, paste, which is like a pink paste, and when you rub it on Bakelite, it should turn like a brownish yellow. Um, not all, not always. Sometimes it'll, if they're dyed, it'll kind of take the color off, but these did not make the pink paste turn colors. It, when rubbed warm, it does not have a strong smell of formaldehyde, and I'm so confused by these. Um, so if anybody knows more about these, please let me know. They do sound like Bakelite do. And they have no seams. This is a continuous strand, hand knotted. And what's really interesting about these is they have these brown streaks in them. And then if I can find, so this one has like an internal fracture. Not sure if you can see that, but uh, I've seen amber, genuine amber do that. So I haven't done any further tests, but my best guess is maybe an amber uh, plastic mix, which is called reconstituted amber, where you take amber, you melt it down, mix it with resin or plastic. So, um, yeah, there's that. Oh, it does not glow under UV either, which amber normally does. So, very stumped by these, but really nice. Have a really nice sound to them. So now we'll go to 
other tray of jewelry I have. And I, I'm super excited about really all of them, but these that you see right here and then up here all came in a lot together. I paid pretty penny for these and they appeared in great shape. So I was willing to pay up for these pieces. And they had a really great description of each piece. So we'll just start from the top and go down. I wanted to start with these rings. Um, I'll put it on this hand, the finger. Um, this is Goldstone Glass, which has copper um, flex mixed in this glass. It was very popular antique glass. And it has some enamel around the edges of this. And it was sold to me as I believe they said Art Deco Sterling Ring. It is not marked, so I will have to test it and make sure, but it probably is. And it just has this beautiful filigree work. Um, this ring was completely black. Um, I did shine it up a little bit. And it is just gorgeous. Beautiful Art Deco ring. And then this one. Um, sold to me as another Art Deco ring. This one's actually marked, I don't know if you can see it, it says OB Sterling. And they told me that this is a meteorite. And I really don't know, I'm really unsure about that because I don't think meteorites have this gold um, coloring in it. I believe that's pyrite. And then the rest of the stone, I have no idea. So I'm leaning towards pyrite. It almost looks like some quartz. I'm not sure, but it is a really, really cool piece. Again, it has this nice filigree work the back of it. Really cool ring and I hope to find out more about this. Now here's a lovely galoche enamel pin. This one's actually Mark Sterling. Really love these cute little uh, galoche pins. This one has some Art Deco lines to it and really pretty yellow uh, roses. Then here's another galoche piece. I think this one's more modern. Um, you have a beautiful iris. And then on the back is Mark Sterling. I believe they said this was repaired, but I don't see anything. I don't see where it's repaired, but it has a newer safety catch. So I'm thinking maybe 40s or 50s. And this, love this color. Um, I believe is a chrysoprase stone. Please correct me if I got that wrong. That is what, what I was told this was. Uh, also another sterling marcasite brooch. It is actually marked on the back. 
oh, I had it the right way. Um, sterling right there, and then this is Germany. I need to clean this up some more. I started to, because it was just black, and uh, I have some polishing cloths. They're called sunshine cloths, and they are wonderful, but they are getting really dirty, <laughs> and I need, um, I need some more. And I love using them on older pieces um, because it doesn't take all of the patina. I want to show its age. You know, I don't want to take everything away. And then um, this is a Chalcedony Sterling brooch with marcasites. Actually, this isn't Sterling. Excuse me. It says 935 at the bottom down there and this one's also really tarnished but I love this I I'm gonna see if I can get this to show more of the color just really pretty piece and this lovely bracelet is carnelian and also sterling and is marked back there. Got some more marcasites and this lovely textured chain link. And then we have the chain on this side. I got a, there we go. Got the spring ring clasp, which I believe is also marked. Sterling. Really lovely bracelet. I'm going to show this one on. Very pretty. This one I absolutely love. It has some enamel and these really cool, like, spoked design. Really neat. I haven't really seen any any brooches like this. It is also marked sterling on the back. Okay, it's marked. Is that sterling and 935? <laughs> I think so. Um, that's odd. Maybe someone knows why that's marked sterling and 935 maybe the standards were different i don't know um it says made in germany has an old seed clasp and this stone look how beautiful and faceted it is it is actually a real amethyst um so yeah, and this whole lot I bought, I think only two pieces were, were glass. And here's the other piece. I have another check glass. This is an amethyst colored glass. Really, really neat art deco lines to this one. It's got a lot of wear to it, but I love it. I would rather it look this way than bright and shiny, to be honest. Um, I really love seeing the wear and the aged pieces. And it just makes me really think about, you know, who, who else wore this? And, you know, what kind of life this has had. A lot of check pieces are marked on the clasp, but this one's not, but I believe it is a check piece. Last but not least from this auction lot that I won. Um, I'm not a really big hat pin or stick pin person, but this one is amazing. and. I was told it's gold filled. I don't know how to acid test that um, because 
I have like 10 and 14 and um, 18 karat and it all changed the color so I, I don't know how you can tell if something's gold filled without it being marked um, it has this beautiful purple enamel flower with a genuine tiny diamond in the middle really gorgeous I got these sweet little bluebird galoche little earrings and I got a matching necklace and these are gold filled they all say um, that 120th gold fill and then it says chapel on the back which is the brand um, I believe it's like mid-century era maybe maybe a little earlier um, this chain is also gold fill so this one's definitely going in my collection that I want to wear a lot I really love dainty delicate jewelry that have a lot of detail in them and this ticks off all the boxes and it's gold fill which I love gold fill jewelry so there's that I am obsessed with antique lavalier necklaces and this one is really unique and really amazing I bought this from Dana Stewart Coates Killer Queen Antiques she's here on YouTube and she does live streams auctions um, about every weekend I think she's doing it every two weeks now and she educates people and I just love her and I this is my first piece I bought from her it is a nine karat gold um, spider lavalier necklace with uh, these are paste stones so they're glass and I just noticed in this light that this little stone is slightly different color and I love that it's more amethyst and then these are uh, darker purple really pretty beautiful I cannot wait to wear that and she also gave me this really lovely I believe it's sterling because it says silver right here on the side um, spider rhinestone brooch to match uh, it's really cute uh, I love bugs butterflies moths whatever you name it type jewelry um, I don't particularly like spiders except for one kind and they are jumping spiders I don't know if you've ever come across them but they are typically tiny spiders and they have pretty big eyes that you can see on top of their head and they love to watch they're very inquisitive and they're such a different type of spider and I always come across them when it's warmer they like to somehow get in my house and they'll they'll just sit on the edge of my table my desk and watch me it's it's really funny they're they do not bite or anything so I'm sorry if you don't like spiders but I have a fascination with all creatures so that was lovely and she also she also gave me a very generous gift of 
beads and crafts, craft type jewelry to use in my own creations. Just wanted to go over quickly that she gave me some antique coral, genuine coral. And most of these are, I think, check glass. I know these are satin glass. And these are check harlequin glass. I'm gonna have to restring this. Um, Cause I wanna keep that original, that's beautiful. And then these are some kind of, maybe end of day glass. I've not really seen any like these are spattered like um, they were rolled in glass frit, like really small pieces of glass. Um, she's added, I took the UV light earlier. These are, these are custard glass, uranium. There's a few more. Um, I noticed these little green ones were uranium. And then she added these really unique beads. Uh, I want to say Niger. I'm sure she'll see this and correct me. Really lovely beads. Lots of check faceted glass beads. She also gave me some genuine pearls. Really lovely. I cannot wait to make stuff with these. All colors. Navy, gold, uh, Tahitian color. We even got some red there. And then this gorgeous piece. I can't wait to fix up. I hope I do it justice. <laughs> um, I've seen these before, but I'm not sure how old they are. They have these Gorgeous faceted glass filigree, um, a real cameo, really beautiful. Just, I mean, a whole assortment. And she included this little amethyst heart. Um, there are these little trinkets, the single marcasite earring looks really old. Beautiful. These, I have no idea what this means or what it is. But it's marked silver on the back and there's another one. And then I don't know if she, where are they? I don't know if she meant to include these, but these are lovely sterling Genuine pearl earrings. Oh, I will have to wear those. Those are lovely. Um, yeah, and just some like old clasp, old bead caps, which I love to reuse. I always need those. Oh, this. This is beautiful. Um, it has an old C class, so. I'm guessing Victorian era. We've got some really old paste stones. They have like a high cut to them. Um, they're missing too, so I don't know if I'll have any to replace that, but not marked. Really, really pretty brooch. Really cute, love that. Oh found this and I was like oh my gosh it's such a cool full glass bead love it so oh I did want to ask her um, if this was Venetian or if this is newer Really, really pretty, uh, definitely like hand, you know, lamp worked bead, but I'm not sure the age of this one. 
So that is everything I have for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed seeing these antique pieces I got today. Um, I It's been a little while, so I want to wish you all a wonderful new year. I hope your holidays were great. hope you were surrounded by the ones you love and that you had a great time celebrating. Uh, please, if you would like, leave a comment if you have any questions, um, if you have anything to share, any knowledge. Um, I really love how active the comments are and I try to be really active and quick to respond. I'm, I'm not the type to bring out a video and then not interact. Like, this is why I make videos. I want to share things with other people. I want to be helpful. And so if you have a question or anything, even if I can't, if even if I don't have an answer or anything, I'm still going to respond. <laughs> And I'll try to direct you uh, in a way to find the answer. So, really appreciate you all being here. And I definitely plan on bringing out more videos. If there's anything you would like to see from me, you can drop me a line. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any ideas or there's a um, certain topic you'd like me to cover. I'll consider it and, you know, think about sharing it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, that's all I have for today, and I will see you guys in the next video.